Okay guys, uh, I was out today uh, with a, a neighbour and we were out shooting over some winter barley. We got a good bag, a mixture of crows and wood pigeon. Uh, we got 16 in total. As part of these training, I've took a couple of wood pigeon home. I'm going to kick them up so um, I'm going to uh, just fillet the breast out of them. And uh, that's, I'm gonna, just going to kick them up this evening. But part of her training um, for cold game, we're going to see how she reacts to uh, to wood pigeon. So this is part ten, and this is bringing her on in her training. We're at home here, familiar environments for the weather isn't too kind to us at the minute. It is raining, but uh, we're going to try her on a wood pigeon. Going to let her see it, sniff it, lick it, whatever she needs to do to it, and. Uh, then we'll see, can we get her to retrieve it? So we'll bring you along. She hasn't seen a wood pigeon before. This is her first time, and I'm gonna share with you guys. So we're gonna get the pigeon out of the game bag, and back in a moment. So just then, she is jumping up and down here, looking to smell it. Here's our wood pigeon, uh, freshly shot today. Um, nice wee bird. I think I was shot, I think it was in the chest, just as it was coming in the land. Um, just for people who may want to know, Shot, I shot this with the Hatsan Escort uh, Magnum using a three quarter choke, s size six shot, uh, 32 gram game bore clear pigeon. Excellent cartridge. So we'll pan the camera down, we'll let these sniff it and see how she gets on. So bring her in, just let her have a sniff. Tails wagging, see if we can get to it in the shot here. She's having a sniff at it. She's never seen a pigeon before. So it's just introducing her to it. Right? What's this? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, what's the birdie? What's the birdie? Let her have a good old sniff. Now again, this is the way I'm doing it. This is the exact same way I did with the rabbit. Let's let her have a sniff. Fetch, and fetch, and fetch. So it's a wee sniff introduction to her. Uh, we're gonna throw it, see what happens. So let me grab the dog whistle and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're gonna do a, a marked retrieve with her. So we're gonna bring her up and set her down, let her see the, dumb, the, the pigeon, let her mark it. We'll walk her away from it and uh, we'll see can she retrieve it. So she's very keen to get in on this, so stay with me, we'll go put the pigeon out. Come in. She's very excited. So for the purpose of the camera, we're going to scoot you around a wee bit and uh, I'll send her for it here. Hey. So first go on pigeon, good girl, ah, ah, fetch it on, fetch it on, fetch it on, fetch it on, good girl, good girl. Yeah. Now, well, she got it in. First, she went for the wing. I didn't want her to do that, so um, probably shouldn't have, you know, went ah, at her because I wanted to try and find out and figure it out. But she did drop it, and she did pick it up by the main body of the pigeon, which is what we need. Um, she's a very soft mouthed dog, so you know, she hasn't damaged it in any way. We'll give her another go. So, we'll just walk up again. So same thing again, she's marked it, and we're going to send her for it again. Get up. Come 
back here. Now, I squeaked her there because she went to go before I sent her. Get her. I'd like a rocket. Good girl. Good girl. You see, I should have picked it up by the back end. So I just have to get used to it and find out the best way of carrying it. So with time, hopefully, she'll just realise to grab it around the front here. So we'll give her another we go. Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Good, good girl! Very happy that time um, she picked it up exactly where I wanted it. Now, the head bobbling about there, that's another good reason why the, uh, with the head bobbling about, the uh, bird dummy from Gundog Solutions. Um, it's great training for that because that is whacking up and down. The dog can get a bit nervous and you know, what's this flapping around here and uh, just get some use to that. So she picked that up perfect. We'll give her another wee go. I'll just stand here, throw it this time and see how she gets on. Mark. Get on. Good girl. Good girl. So she's getting all used to the feathers in her mouth as well, spitting them out, which is all good training. So when I bring her out into the field, uh, when we're out shooting these, um, Hopefully I should be able to, to work at them better. Give her one more just to wind it up. Mark! Feathers everywhere. Oops. All of a sudden I never work with pets and children. Find the Get on. Good girl! Good girl! Dead. Good girl! And I finished off a nice delivery in the hand. So there you go, that's uh, day introduced to some cold game for some pigeon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the wings off and we're going to tape them onto uh, the dummy, the, the bird dummy from uh, Gundog Solutions. So we'll tape them on to that, uh, or cable tie them on, and that will be uh, more of her training with that dummy. The meat's gonna go off here, you can't keep a bird indefinite, so, but using the, taking the wings off from this one, get them cable tied onto that bird dummy, means you can keep training, keep training her, and she'll have the scent of pigeon. So uh, there you are, that's part 10. Some nice woodies, I have a good few more that I'm going to uh, fill it out, chuck in the pan here and uh, that'll be, that might be another video. So, um, thanks very much for watching, thanks for all the support. Don't forget to check out uh, gundog-solutions.co.uk, use GDS Tom for 10% off anything on their shop. Uh, so, there you are, you can't do much more than that. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Take care.